We're going to switch gears. We're talking about Wi-Fi and how to keep yourself protected. A lot of people have Wi-Fi. People can hack in. Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call is here. Uh, one of the biggest things when you move into an apartment complex or maybe your house and you go to set up your Wi-Fi and it shows you everybody, all the like, mm -hmm. kind of floating Wi-Fi accounts within the vicinity. Yeah. How can you keep yourself protected? Because a lot of times some of them go unprotected. Mm -hmm. Or they have really weak encryption, which makes it easy to break for somebody in the neighborhood that wants to do something sort of nefarious. So the first thing you want to do with your with your setting up your Wi-Fi, and this is this, this kind of came to us the other day when I was with Walt and we were talking about expanding your Wi-Fi, and he's like, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Well, I just hire somebody. <laughs> so I thought, you know, there's a way to do this, and it's actually pretty easy, but it's a little intimidating for some people because they're not sure how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's kind of cool. So okay. check, the, check this out. So the first thing you want to do if you're going to be talking about uh, securing your Wi-Fi is log into your router. And so you open up an internet browser like Safari or Chrome, and you type in the web address. It's 192. Dot yeah, dot it's usually one. right there on the on the little box. Yeah, so plug it in. And you, if you have your startup disk, even easier. But if not, you just type in the web address, and that'll take you to their settings page. And your settings page will have things uh, to a login screen, and you can use the defaults, which are admin. Usually, it's admin and admin for the username and password. And if you're not sure what your new username and password is, you can go to pass routerpasswords.com. And it'll actually show you the, na the, the username and password for your router. So you can log into it a lot easier. So all you got to do is type in which router you have and, yeah. and what model it is, and it'll tell you all that stuff. Once you're in there, though, you look for something called wireless settings or security settings. You click that, and it'll allow you to change all your settings in there, and you can set up your password. So what's the biggest thing you want to click on to keep it protected? Well, the first thing you want to do is change, like, the name of the network. So if it says D-Link, Linksys, Asus, or right. something like that, change it to hackers know I can get into that one because they don't know what they're doing. So change it first. Yeah, like mine at home says FBI surveillance van because I figure who's going to hack that, right? Yeah. And then, then once you change the name, then put pick a password. And the problem with passwords is we try to keep them so we can remember them, but you don't have to remember this password. And so make it as long and complicated as you want to, then write it down and put, it a, put a sticker on your router. And that way, the only people who really need it are your friends and family. I was going to say, that's a good tip, is to put it on your router, because I tend to make the passwords a little complicated, and then I can't find it. <laughs> and then we have a big problem. So put it on the router, yeah. and then you have it there. And then, then once you're done with that, you get to choose your encryption type. And there's several different kinds to choose from, and it looks like an alphabet soup when you look at it. But choose WPA or WPA2. Those are the most secure. If the only selection you have is called WEP, you need a new router because WEP is super easy to crack. Just about anybody with a Wi-Fi uh, with just, a Wi-Fi card can get in. Just for the viewers, uh, kind of explain to them. You can drive up into any neighborhood and you can instantly see who who is protected and who's not. And how easy would it be for someone to kind of crack in? And it hack? is it is trivial. Uh, if I were in a neighborhood, I could get into a network with with just a few stro keystrokes on my keyboard and get in. For the average user, it's going to be a little more difficult. But you know, when you live in an apartment complex, if you have your your router named like Links or D-Link, a lot of people have connected to those kinds of networks before, and so they might connect to your network by accident, thinking that it's one that's free or right. one that they've been on before, and now they're hogging up all your bandwidth and taking up all it. of your stuff. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about the app of the week, because I'm excited about this. Oh, I, I always want to know, what is your favorite app? I and love this app. you said this one. I'm surprised about this one. So uh, most Americans who use Facebook were used to the Facebook feed and scrolling up and looking at stuff, and then there's ads in there, and there's stories in there that we don't find relevant or we don't want to look at anymore. Well, this is a new way to look at your Facebook feed. It's called Paper. You can go to Facebook.com slash paper. And what it does is it gives you a nice side scrolling of your of your news feed. It edits out all the ads so you don't have any ads so anymore. So it's basically like seeing your timeline but in a quick swipe form rather yeah. than scrolling down. Yeah, and you think that seems like, oh, no big deal, but it's so much more fun. And when you want to look at a story, you say, oh, I want to see what that person said. You just swipe up and it makes it full screen. You don't have to have a second application for your messenger. It's already built in, so you only have one app on your phone. Yeah. And plus, you can add other features, like if you scroll over one more space, you can add in things like headlines, pop culture feed, so you can see what your latest celebrities I are doing. I love the idea of it, but someone like my mom, who just got used to Facebook, it might be a little much. <laughs> it know? might be. It depends. If they're, but if I they're love the to, idea of swiping. Yeah. If yeah. you're used to the, the normal one on your desktop, this the regular app is going to be more like that. But this is just a cool way to experiment and just it's really cool. Because they keep I love changing. It. Facebook, Facebook keeps updating everything, but yes. very cool. Great tips. Where can Thanks. people find you? Nerds on Call. Yeah, you can go to callnerds.com. We have a great blog with all kinds of tips and, and tricks and all kinds of fun stuff you can do with your computer. Really good tips and, of course, yeah. ways to keep yourself protected, especially on your Wi-Fi. Thank you, Ryan, You're so welcome. much. All right.